Okay, so let's do our first perk testing of the day, of the week. Let's see if we can get going. Drag this stuff in. Okay. So what are we trying to perk test here? Okay, let's get our use cases down, right? How much is an extra lookup, an extra class lookup, right? That's kind of the first thing we want to see, and then we'll experiment from there, right? Okay, so let's take a look at, we'll make a Y class, very cool. It's going to be our very simple it's gonna have its own pong method we're gonna be working with pongs today self and all this is gonna do is gonna print every method is gonna print right it's gonna print y pong everyone's gonna print their letter and a pong now here's where we're gonna performance test this this will be uh we're we gonna what are we gonna say this this is this is single lookup right single okay and then in here, we just need to say very simply y is equal to instantiate a y. And then y dot pong. Actually, what am I doing? Why not just this? There we go. There we go. First, let's see if we can run this. If we can, everything's going to be okay. Mm, that's nice. Lovely. Let's see if this is see my first perf test runs. Whoa, why Pong? We got a problem here first. We do not want to actually be printing anything out. That is going to be a problem. So let's not do that. Um, you say why Pong, you say print. We're just going to say return. I don't care. Boom. Now, look how fast it is. It's the fastest thing ever. We're not trying to test how long this method takes right here. We're trying to test lookup. So we can do a lot of tries here. See how fast that goes, right? Let's give it one more. See, look what this juice looks like. A couple seconds, maybe. Oh yeah, might be a little too long. Okay, not bad. I could maybe handle that for a couple tests, but that is the slowest. So let's do this. Let's remove one of these and let's double that. There we go. Okay, so there's our single lookup. Now let's do, no, it's no lookup. That's, that's no lookup. Now let's do a single lookup. So we'll make our single lookup be X. Very simple. So right, watch this. I say class X. I say depth, Pong, self. And then I say super. I got to give it a, I'm going through Y. Remember, we're just going up the chain. Pong. Right? Right? Is that right? It's running. That's a good sign. We're somewhere. No look up. Okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. So we can see some results already. I gotta line this stuff up better though. But I'm gonna get some more tests going. And maybe it's still a little bit too long. Since the single lookup taking longer, but man, look at that difference right there. God. You have just like you know some wasted inheritance in your code. Look what you're doing. Okay, let's see. That's single lookup. Now, I want to see, is there a difference doing a lookup or doing an explicit call, right? So we're going to say explicit call. Meaning, right, this is going to be have to be called like, I don't know, this is J. Whoops. Wait, wait, this is J. And I need to say, oh, there you go. Check out this J real quick. It's not going to inherit from anyone. Actually, it will inherit. Sorry, sorry. And I maybe we should look at the difference between inheriting and not inheriting in a second. Is if there is a speed difference, we are we are perf testing. Now, what I'm going to do here is for this pong method, I'm going to explicitly call y dot pong and pass in self, right? 
what's the difference between that hmm? and we're lined up better now so everything's looking a little better boom now wait a minute here look at this lowest is one one highest is three two lowest is one eight highest is four nine yes single lookup is a little bit slower the explicit call interesting enough that uh, it does look like an explicit call is faster than letting it go through the chain i did not know that okay let's see um let's see if there's a difference Ex uh explicit call what do you what do you want to say um without inheritance okay i'm just things are getting wild um why do i need why do i need these here i don't need these here I'm saying without I. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to. F Whoops, no, I didn't mean to say lookup. So, what I'm saying here is this instead of J, let's pick a new one. Let's do K. Now, watch this. I'm going to remove the Y, right? Right? Without inheritance. Can I do that, first of all? I don't even know if I can do that. Show me that, K. Let's see. Explicit. Now, wait a minute. I can. And look at that. Is it even faster? What the heck? Is that really what this is telling me right now? I did not expect that as the result. It does seem to be. I'm going I'm to run some more tests. Let right here. Okay. Why Pong with, with just no inheritance? All of a sudden, just life's better. A little bit better. That's crazy. Okay, so let's see if there's a speed difference in... Okay, I, I got it. Oof, let's see if I can do this. I want the speed difference for two levels, right? In one, one, one experiment is, uh, what is it called? Parallel. In two is too deep, right? So let's do this. If we call, we gotta make a new class. We gotta make another more, even more powerful class. This one's gonna be called, uh, let's say, let's say H. And I'm gonna define, actually let me move, if H is my example class, I'll move it down to the bottom here, okay. So H needs to inherit from two parallel classes, right? And who should it inherit from? Well, I'm gonna say E and R. I'm just doing all the letters, okay? And I got her. Nice, it looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna need an E and an R. And they inherit from no one, because we are checking out parallel. And guess what? E has nothing, because R is what we wanna hit. Right? Because we're checking, you know, stuff. R pong very cool right so now that's parallel let me add that to my list right here oh I got a comment that's not gonna compile so this will be called parallel is a really hard to word to spell I think it's like that uh, parallel call and then let's we'll say too deep some beautiful formatting okay and this will be age. We've already determined that. Now for the too deep. Well, I haven't actually used D yet, so I'm gonna steal the D that we already have. Here it is right here. I'm sorry, you're gone. You're gone. I, I still can't watch videos to earn more ear. What do you mean? Why, why not? Why can't you earn any more? I earn them. Whenever I'm watching other people's channels, it's so nice. Okay, so we're trying to do... You need to be able to... Whoa! Five? Look at how nice that looks. I'm rich now. I can't wait to spend all of this. Okay, so for this D... Three! You're making nice patterns. God, I gotta, I gotta figure out this, these, these, these goddamn bit levels. The problem is, I could do it, but I gotta open my computer. So, now other one. 
what what what's the limits the free bits oh nice nice gotcha gotcha okay cool you know i would not doubt anyone in the world other than you to figure out the limits of the free bits okay <laughs> like i knew that you're gonna become a free bit expert also that's that's like that's a great title free bit expert okay so we're doing something different here for this one we're gonna go two levels deep right so we'll do a t got so many classes and all all on their own and then t is gonna inherit from let's do a f right and here's f we got a pong method so take your bets is it going to be faster if it's going to go through two levels or going one level and one to the side is a sidestep faster f pong you don't need nothing you can pass and d you can also pass right because you're just going to call you just your job is just to call pong actually sh i just realized something i'm an idiot I need to be implementing the Pong method on the, the, at least on the D. So I will say return. No, no, not return. Super. Duh. Pong. Right? That's it. Okay. Oh, I almost have DTF. I messed up. Here, let's reverse this real quick. Actually, what am I doing? I think it's like this. Huh. Oh, wait. This is DTF. It's just reversed. It's upside down very cool okay so i think i've got it what's gonna be faster parallel call or too deep and these should all be slower than these four because we are doing two lookups and this is no lookup and these are all single lookups right and so these are all single and now i've got a god dang well, what was the word call what was the word call Everyone knows the abbreviation WOI means without inheritance, okay? We're, we're coining it here. Pong is wrong because I did this. Where did I do Which Pong is wrong? Ah, my her is wrong. I didn't finish. I apologize. There you are, her. Look at this code. Class, her, her, Pong, super, Pong. That's good code. Boom. Let's see what we get here. I don't know. I think it's going to be faster to go look, look down two levels, not parallel. That's my guess. There's the parallel call. I think this is going to be slower. I think two downs faster. I think I'm wrong. I was trying to get my guess in right before. Not the not the most conclusive examples, okay? So obviously these are the two slowest. We said they're going to be the slowest. So they're double calls. So if we look at the parallel call, which if we go back here, what we're talking about is this. Let's see. Where are we at? We're, we're deep in the ping pong land. Boom. Is this faster going here, 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 or just going here, here, here? It looks like this is faster. Take a little shortcut instead of here. Why? But why? Not that much faster. 2.6 is the lowest. We got a 2.7. Then we've got all the way up to 5.9. This doesn't hit 5.9 ever. But this doesn't hit those lows of 2.7. This doesn't seem to be a really... There's no conclusive answer here. You know. It didn't really give me the, the satisfying answer I want. Well, let's do this. We know it's always the final step. I feel like that was a pretty good test, though. At least I learned some things, which is that it looks like the fastest, ironically, single look at single lookup without. Let me double check. Was that same test the same? Without inheritance, for some reason, we're moving the inheritance chain, even with an explicit lookup, was saving us time. Nope. Yep. No. No, it's run the same. Explicit is faster, though. Explicit calls is faster than letting it go up the chain. It's probably a, 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 a bad bad pattern, though, because then if the class name changes, unless you're, you know, I don't know, reference, if you're assigning it to some other variable, I don't know. Okay, I think I learned all I can learn there. Let me copy these tests over. These are going to be called the ping pong tests. But these are called the ping pong perf tests. That way I can uh, save those and if you want to experiment with them, it'll be in the repo.